Hello, good evening, Novia. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how, how are you? Are I'm you okay. Nice to hear that. Are you ready for today's session? Excuse me? Are you ready for today's session? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, awesome. I am ready. I am ready. That is nice to hear. So I can see Milton is here. Bea is also here. And Ibis. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for connecting on time. It's Monday again. Okay, so how are you doing? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for asking, Milton. How was your weekend? Um, very, very nice. I um, I was full. Very, very full. Yeah. I, I was playing soccer, soccer game. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your position? But, but it's uh, the, sec the section for the, the last... Last game, the select team. Yeah, the national. national. National team. National team is very, very bad. Right. Oh, yes. right. Very, very hu hungry. <laughs> right. And how do you say, I think it was on Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. Uh -huh, Friday night. Friday. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so yeah, it happens, you know. I didn't expect them to win, to be honest with you. I was like, uh, I was kind of negative, but at the end, you know, I think it was a tie, right? Yes. Okay. So, well, you know, okay. it, it, it is what it did is, you, right? Did, huh? did you see the? Did you see the the the, the game? The yeah. Only the yeah. first. Only the first part. <laughs> First, first, yeah, first. Uh, yeah. The second part is the second part is the, is, is a, a big battle, huh? right? Okay, yeah, exactly. uh, almost almost ending, exactly. ending the okay. That's, exactly. uh, no, no problem. Yeah, yeah, you know that's you know our national soccer team at the end, but we really expect more from them, right? So guys, welcome. It's so nice to be connected. It's so nice to see you guys again. It's Monday. We are basically starting a new week. And well, in our calendar, we are about to close week number two as well. And you guys need to finish section number three. And I don't know if you guys have any question before we start with any specific exercise on the platform. Or are we okay? I am okay. Great to hear that. Okay. We are seven connected plus myself. If you guys have any question, please don't hesitate to ask at this moment before we start with the topic for today. Okay. I can see there are no questions, okay? I'm glad, and, uh, and what I want to say is this, I really want to thank you for uh, completing the exercises on time and also for helping your classmate because I saw some messages on the WhatsApp group and you guys were uh, helping each other. So that's really cool. I really like that. In case you have any questions, that is why uh, that you need to just go ahead and send it to the group. In case anybody knows the answer, you know, as this time happened, we can do it that way. But if nobody answers, then I'm going to be, you know, helping you know, as soon as I have the access to the platform. Well, uh, today we have session number seven. And today's topic, it's adjectives and relative clauses. Last class, I asked you to complete one chart. I don't know if you guys already did it or if you had the chance to watch the video about adjectives in here. So please do me a favor. If you already complete this exercise, I want you to um, send me a message on the chat. Please saying uh, like done or completed so we can start checking the answers. If you haven't done it yet, no problem. We can take some minutes to do this, all right? Who completed this chart already? Maybe we haven't 
done it yet, right? So what we can do is the following, right? We need to first check these adjectives here. We have four categories. We have awful, we have wonderful, stupid, and strange, okay? So what we need to do is this. We need to read these adjectives here, and then you have to start classifying them, okay? If you think absurd goes in the awful category, you write it right there. If you think uh, bizarre goes into the strange category, you write it right there. So basically it's going to be four adjectives each under each category, okay? So let's take some time then so you can complete it. Teacher, when that mean how full, how oh. full? Awful. awful. Ah, awful. Oh, I is, awful. <laughs> yeah. If something I, is really like um, terrible, something that it's really, really bad, then you can say that's awful. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, eh, unful and horrible is eh, eh, the same, the same word or the, the meaning. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do, Milton. You need okay. to, exactly, under the, the category awful, you look for the ones in here that are synonyms and then just put it like below, right? Under each category. Mm -hmm. Okay. have a message here. Thank you so much, Breeze. Breeze is ready to share. Thank you. Let's take one more minute, okay? Please uh, send me a message on the chat when you finished.
can see we are seven connected. And let me know if you finish, please. Okay, I'm going to give you one more minute, guys, and then uh, we're gonna start comparing the answers, okay? So we'll do this a little bit faster, okay? Welcome, Heidi. All right, so this is what we're gonna do now because I, I know time really flies and I want to check you know your answers here. I need volunteers to read um, these adjectives, okay? So for that, I'm going to need one volunteer to read the first category. I mean, at this moment, we're not gonna check the categories. We're just gonna read like these columns here. So I want one volunteer to read these four adjectives. Who wants to do it? Let's see. Would you like to try, Blanca? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Read. Only read this. I role. think absurd is strange. Maybe. Okay. So let's do this, uh, Blanca. Let's just read. Let's read. Let's only go ahead and, and read. Let's pronounce this one. Ah, okay. okay. Only no pronounce. classify. That's it. Exactly. Not no. yet. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Absurd, <clears throat> bizarre, disgusting, and dreamful. Dreadful. dreadful, 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 yes. Thank you so much. We have the first one. Milton, can you please help us with the second column here? Okay, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible. Good, thank you, I like it. Good pronunciation. Uh, let's see, Nubia, read the next uh, column, please. Merdolos, oh, oh. Outstanding, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Thank you ridiculous. so much. Awesome. So last last one. Let's see. Let me ask one more volunteer. Or maybe I don't know if Brice is able to listen to us. Brice, can you read, please? Yes. Silly, terrible, and unusual, and weird. Thank you so much. This is an un unusual, unusual. 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 Okay, now Unusual. that we have checked the pronunciation, I want to give you one or two more minutes because I want you to make sure if you have the same answer. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to create three groups and then you start checking. Okay, for example, let, tell me, Breeze, what do you have for awful? And then you're going to be interacting and comparing if you have the same answers, okay? So go ahead and do that. I'm going to give you uh, maybe three minutes. Take advantage of the time, guys, and then we're going to compare it. If we have pairs, easy. If, we, if there are three people, then take turns, okay? Here we go. Comparing, only comparing.
Hello, everyone. I don't know. Nobody answers, <laughs> Blanca? No, nobody. <laughs> I repeat, repeat. Hello, so, you can hear me. No. Come on, Boris. Boris just joined. Maybe, um, I don't know. Oh, the other one is connected. I think we're going to return. We're going to go to the main session, OK? Because uh, three minutes is over. So thank you so much for trying. Here we go. Heidi, can you listen to me? No? Okay. I think, I don't know if it's me, but I think you got, you have problem with your mic. So welcome back. Uh, Breeze Blank is here and we're just waiting for the other ones to return. like as if you are flying blank your, Sorry? Back, your background but, it's uh, uh, at the mountain mountain is yeah. uh, maybe a uh, camping okay in the mountain. So I can see that's really cool you know <laughs> the views are awesome yes, impressive yeah I imagine that's relaxing <laughs> okay so guys welcome I know it was just a little time but uh, welcome back I really hope you guys took advantage of the time. Whenever you have this chance to practice, please make sure you open your camera, okay? Turn on your camera and practice with your partners, okay? That's the intention. You interact, you know each other. So that would be the best, you know, thing we can do. Don't be muted. Don't like turn off your camera. Make sure you practice, okay? That's the idea. Well, uh, I need volunteers. This time we are going to categorize all these adjectives in the four uh, options we have, okay? So let me share the screen so you guys can help me solving this exercise. So let's see, one second, please, here we go. So I'm going to need uh, Blanc Blanca Molina, please help me with the first one. Awful, which ones do you have there? Awful, uh, disgusting. Okay. Terrible. All right. And horrible. Horrible. Okay. Three. One is missing. One is missing. Yeah, it is for each. Oh my god. Abs no. Weird. And this is strange. Exactly. Let's see, let's check with the, with your partners. What do you guys have? Uh, Blanca already said to us, we have uh, horrible, terrible, and disgusting. Which one is missing? We need to find four. Dreadful. Sure. Okay, I heard it's great. It is dreadful, that's the one, yes. What? Dreadful. 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 Oh my God, really, sorry. Yeah, dreadful is the one we need to place right there. So uh, so this time we have four, right? Can you say them again, please, Blanca? Disgusting, terrible, okay. horrible, and dreadful. Awesome, thank you so much, appreciate it. Can you choose the next person for the next category, wonderful? Okay, for wonderful, Milton. Okay, Milton, you are chosen. What are the okay. ones you have? It is fantastic. Okay. Marvelous. 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 Okay. Uh, outstanding. All right. Fabulous. Awesome. Very good. I like it. I, we have the same. <laughs> Do you guys have a different answer? The same answer? Yes. No. Same answers. Okay, good. If you have any any different answer, please don't hesitate to ask. I will appreciate that. Okay, Milton, choose the next person for stupid, please. <laughs> this is kind of offensive. So uh, choose the next person. Okay. Um, 
who, who else? Uh, Nubia? Okay, yeah. Okay, stupid, ridiculous, uh, absurd, silly, and dumb. Right, we have ridiculously, 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 silly, stupid, and absurd and dumb. Yes, actually, that's what it is. Yes, we have these uh, four options, okay? If, do you have any, any different one? Or do you guys have the same? The same or different answer? I think I have a message. Oh, Jake is saying something here. Same answers, okay, good. So yes. we have uh, ridiculous, ridiculous, uh, silly, and then she said um, dumb and absurd. Yes, that's what it is. And what about the last category? Who would you like to listen to, Novia? Choose the next person. Heidi. Okay, let's listen to her, please. Hi, Tisha. What do you um, have? And the strength is the terrible, horrible, and the only teacher. Hmm, so terrible and horrible for a strange. But we already used those one. Do you remember? No, teacher. No, okay. So let's let's ask any volunteer to help us because uh, we said a horrible and terrible were for awful. Thank you so awful. much, Bea. Mm -hmm. Odd. Odd. Okay, we have one. What Odd. else? Uh -huh. Bizarre. Bizarre. Good. Unusual. Uh, unusual. Unusual. Unusually. And unusual and weird. 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 Exactly. So yeah, I'm usual and weird. That's exactly what I have here. And well, we have the same answers. Thank you so much. Let me repeat. For a strange, we have weird, we have bizarre, odd, and unusual, right? That's exactly the answer. Weird, bizarre, odd, and unusual. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to give you one minute or maybe two minutes for you to give me one sentence. Create one sentence. Think about movies, books, or stories, or whatever you want to uh, think about. But give me one sentence using any of these adjectives here on the screen. Maybe you want to improvise it, open your mic, or take one minute to go ahead and, and say it, or write it down here on the chat. Use one or two adjectives. Can you repeat me, please? Yeah, I want you to create one sentence. Ah, okay. Using we, any any of these adjectives. Think about um, movies, think about programs or TV shows or whatever you want to say. Use one adjective here. We have a message here. <laughs> the movie was horrible, yes. That's a good one. Thank you so much, Nubia. What else? Any other example? Teacher, um, mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, a movie, uh, Time to Die, is a fantastic, is a fantastic picture or movie. Yeah, yeah, you can say that uh, a move. You can say the movie. You say Time to Die. Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. It's a movie, uh, Jane Bond. I haven't uh, seen that, it. Yes. I haven't seen it. It's fantastic. I'm going to for watch me, it. For me, in my opinion, yeah. for me. Right. Yeah, you can say that. It's a fantastic movie. Or if you don't want to repeat movie, you can say it's, it's a fantastic one. And instead of saying movie, you can say that. Thank you so much. I like it. I think I'm going, I'm going to write it down for me to watch it. So time to write. Time to write. Okay. Any other example that comes to your mind? that you want to share using these adjectives? There are, there are, let me tell you that all of these adjectives are really useful and they're very common. 
<laughs> my ex friends. You don't wanna say my ex. Okay, my last is so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, the series it's really fabulous. Okay, yes, the, the series is. Let's remove it. Is the series is really fabulous. Fabulous. Good. Let's see any other one. What do you think? Any any other that you want to provide? We are ten people connected now, so we can have more examples. Please. Try to create your examples and try to expand as much as you can. Expand on your answers. The more details you provide, the better. And you can say, for example, the series is very or really fabulous because blah, blah, blah. You can you know, add more details. For example, the flyer was fabulous, okay? I'm reading a, a fantastic book. I like that structure. Now you're using you know, a different structure. Thank you so much, Brice. What is the name of the book, Chris? What can you tell us about the book? So you, you can share with us. I am reading the Harry Potter. <laughs> Again. Oh, you're reading Harry Potter. I haven't, I haven't even, you know, watched all these movies. There are many, right? And yeah. I, I had a friend. Yeah. I, I, we haven't been in touch lately. But she loves reading those books as well. And I imagine. Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher. Teacher for a second time. Okay, nice. Second time. That's really cool. Yes, Heidi. It's the, the movies Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the effect fabulous. Okay. I I think I want to and I need to watch movies. <laughs> I haven't yes, seen that yes. one either. <laughs> okay, good. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. I can see I have another example here. This restaurant sushi Ito is really fantastic because the tepanjaki is Sorry, a because show. the tepanjaki is a really show. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, I see, I see. Good. That's a good one, right? I like it. The weather is fabulous in this season. Yeah, I agree with you. I love this weather. You know, it's really cool. So thank you so much. Well, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, let me just remind you, whenever you interact on the platform, you also need to uh, enter or write your um, examples on the platform. After you watch the video, the video requires you to, you know, write your examples. So if you haven't done that yet, I want you to please access to the platform, watch the video, and also add your examples below, okay? Now, we are going to move on to another topic because time really flies. And before I move on, have you guys uh, watched the video about relative clauses or you haven't done that yet? Relative clauses? No? No. All right, so let's get started. So relative clauses, sentences. What is a relative clause? Do you have any idea? No? New topic? Maybe you already know this. Maybe just the name that you don't know. Let me start by uh, telling you the following information. Milton, help me, please. Can yeah. you read this information? We can. Okay. Please, uh, we can add extra additional detail about uh, no by, by add, adding a relative clause to a sentence. All right, thank you so much. Basically, when we use relative clauses, they will add additional information or details mm -hmm. about the noun, okay? So let's, let's look at this next idea. Second, please. So this is very important. So pay attention to this. In a set of using uh, two single clauses or two simple sentences in an easier vocabulary, we can use a relative clause. So let's take a look at this example. Zara is eating roast chicken. We have a period. It's her favorite meal. So the question is how can we combine these two sentences into one sentence? What comes to your mind? Instead of having two sentences, we want to create only one. How can we make it?
is there what comes to your mind if we have two sentences and we want to create only one sentence without of course losing the meaning keeping the meaning any idea Sarah is eating roast chicken. Period is her favorite meal. So how do I combine this? That is a relative clause. When we use a relative pronoun to make it as one sentence without having two separated sentences, that is what we are going to be discussing, okay? I'm going to give you my first example. Let's take a look at this. We can combine the two sentences to make one multi uh, clause or one complex sentence, not as not a simple sentence, using a subordination. In this case, I'm going to a subordination. It means that we're having two sentences: one that is uh, the main sentence and one that is the, the dependent one. Okay, because the dependent one doesn't make sense by itself. It needs to have, you know. A complement, so it makes sense. Let's take a look at this example so we understand this better. Sarah is eating a spaghetti, comma, which is uh, her teacher, favorite meal. We we can we can use uh, what, uh, that who and and which depend exactly. uh, uh, the the sentence. Exactly, that is perfectly fine. Thank you so much for 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 mentioning that. In this sentence, we have which. When do we use which? Which uh, we use uh, when when isn't a person. When, okay. uh, when I don't um, uh, speaking uh, of person, it is a is a noun or or, or is a. Uh, something exactly it can be a noun so we we do not we do not mention the noun a second time we instead of using the noun or this or the pronoun a second time we use a relative sentence to make it only one as only single sentence okay so that's the purpose and instead of saying Sarah is eating roast chicken it's her favorite meal. We can also say Sarah is eating a spaghetti, which is her favorite meal. I can say Sarah is eating roast chicken again, which is her favorite meal. So instead of mentioning again the subject, we use a relative clause, a relative sentence. So it's just one sentence. So now, what are those? And this is, uh, I like what you just mentioned because we have which, we have that, we have who for people, that is for things and also for people sometimes, but then we have which for more specific things, okay? So this is, these are the most common relative pronouns that we can use in a relative sentence. So that, that means that in order for us to have a, a relative sentence, we need to have a relative pronouns. We're going to write it in a minute. We're going to write them down in a minute. So this is the first idea, okay? Let's take a look at more examples so we understand a little bit better. Let's take a look at this one. So a relative clause always start with a relative pronoun. This is very important, and I want you to write it down. These are the most common ones. I want you to write them down if possible, okay? We have whose. We have which, we have who, we have that, and we have whom. Most common ones in the video, we are studying only mentions which, who, and that, because they are the one most used. I am not saying that we're not gonna use whose or whom, but these three ones are the most common ones. So please write them down on your notebook. Relative pronouns are whose, which, who, that, and whom. So whenever you identify one of these in a sentence, and you can see it's a complement of, of another <laughs> sentence, then they are using or we are using a relative 
uh, sentence or a relative clause, okay? So the key here is when we have this relative pronouns, then we are using a, a relative clause. And when do we use them? Well, we, when we use them, when we are talking or when we want to avoid repeating the subject or the noun a second time, okay? So that's the key. So write this down and I'm going to give you some examples. Who's, which, who, that, and whom. Okay, let's take a look at this example. So can you identify the pronouns in this sentence, the relative pronouns? Can you read it please, Blanca, and tell me where it, where it is found? We went to the new uh, swimming pool, which has three fantastic slides. Slides, thank you so much. Where is it? Where is found our relative pronoun here? Which, which, which. has three fantastic slides. Exactly. So basically, which has three fantastic slides, that is a relative um, sentence. And this one is the dependent one because if you only say which has three fantastic slides, you will say what? Because we haven't mentioned the swimming pool yet. So instead of mentioning the swimming pool again, we only say which is referring to an object in this case or, or a place. Or in this case, it's just a, it's a swimming pool. It can be a place or an object. Yeah, it depends. What about the second one? Let's see, Milton, can you read sure. the second? Teacher, I only have a question. Go ahead, please. I, I really, I don't understand the, uh, the sen complete sentence. Mm -hmm. We went to the new swimming pool, okay? Mm -hmm. Which has three fantastic mm -hmm. slides. What does it mean, three fantastic slides? Slides, when you go into a swimming pool, like a big slide, where oh. you basically you slide on, on those. Line. It's, no, it's not, slides, slide, slide is, what do you call this thing, like toboganes, I think, where you go and oh. slide. Okay, yeah, okay. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the swimming the pool has three, I think that's, <laughs> yes. that's the best one. Okay, what about yes. number Thank two? You. What about number two? Let's see, Milton, read it, please. Miguel, who loves to play football? What's ticket for the county team? Okay, me who loves to play football was picked. So what is, or where is found our relative pronoun here? Who, who loves to who play is, football? Is Miguel, right? So we have here one sentence, but if we start analyzing, we can, we have two sentences here. And we are adding additional information about Miguel, and that is a relative pronoun, relative sentence. So a relative sentence requires a relative pronoun. And we have already said that we have five relative pronouns that are very common, okay? Whose, which, who, that, and whom, okay? So let's continue, let's continue. What about this one? Oh, we have now a, a new one here. Maybe let's see, Nubia, help us with the next one. Read and tell me where is the relative pronoun found. Okay. Mm -hmm. Richard, whose pen has grown, grown out, put his hand, hand up to us for another one. Okay. Where is a relative pronoun found? Whose. Whose. Now that we have this example, I want to explain something. Whose, it's, uh, it makes reference about possession, okay? Possession, it's, it's my, it's his, okay? So that's basically what it means. In this context, we're gonna use whose. In the video you guys are going to watch, it's not explain this one, but it is important to know it in case you want to mention mm -hmm. or you want to provide more information about the noun, but referring to uh, something that belongs to this, to this person or to, or to the noun. In this case, uh, the pen belongs to Richard. Okay, so that's why they're using who's. Okay, let's keep reading. Let's take a look at the next one. Hold on, let me, uh, 
We have more examples here. Look at this one. Uh, maybe Brice, can you help us? The boy whom you met last week is coming to visit later. Okay, thank you. And our relative pronoun is? Whom. Whom. Um, Let me whom. say this. Whom is also for people. But we use whom when we are talking about as an object or when we're talking or referring who received the action. In this case, whom is really formal. I can say who, but then whom becomes our object, which means that this is receiving the action. We, we are using it like that. The boy whom you met. So that would be the best example because uh, whom is, all, is used as the object of a sentence, okay? So that is the only difference between whom and who in this, in this scenario, okay? So we have these four, like, let me see, uh, examples, but I want you to help me mm -hmm. identify some others. Let's take a look at this one, one second. Well, we have this one. My granddad called the rabbit that had escaped. It's very common to find that with animals, with things, but uh, in informal mm -hmm. speaking, we can also use that for people, okay? Let's see. We have which, we have who, we have whose, we have whom mm -hmm. as an object because it received the action, and we have that. Now, I want you to help me with the next examples here. What about, uh, let's see, where is the relative uh, close place? How do you know? Well, look at this one. We have another one, another one, another one, and another one here. So can we identify the relative um, pronouns here? And is it easy? Is it uh, difficult to identify where is it located? Is there any specific place that we can place, we can, uh, these relative uh, clauses? No, because they can be well at the beginning, they can be in the middle, they can be at the end, as you can see here. So let's take a look at the first one. Let's read them, please. I want, let's see, Evis, I don't know if you are listening to us, please. Can you help us, Evie, with the, Evis? Yes. Thank yes. you. Number one, please. The class were, well behaved mm -hmm. on the school trip, mm -hmm. which made their teacher proud. proud. Proud, okay. And where is our relative clause here? Which. Which, and which is the relative pronoun, right? And the clause, guys, is just a sentence, okay? Sometimes it, we say clause, sometimes we say sentence, it's the same thing. And which is the relative uh, pronoun, but we have said that a relative clause has a relative pronoun. So which is the relative pronoun? And our uh, relative clause it starts right there. Okay, thank you so much. Which made their teacher proud. That would be a relative um, clause, the complete one. Let's see, let's go ahead and check the next one. Heidi, help us with the next one, please. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh William, who was wearing his favorite shirt, mm -hmm. was going, going to the school disco. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the relative clause here? The relative, um, the relative who teacher? Okay, the relative pronoun is who, and the clause mm -hmm. is who was wearing his favorite shirt. Sure. Exactly. Uh, exactly, teacher. All that, remember, because at the beginning we said that, that a relative clause provides more information about the noun. I can only say William was going to the school, this school. That's it. But then if I want to add more information about the noun, I, I use a relative clause who was wearing his uh, favorite shirt. So we can omit that part and the sentence still makes sense, okay? It's basically we're using the relative clause to add more details, more information about the noun, okay? 
So Milton, help us with the next one, please. I go. I go to a swimming club early in the morning, which means that I'm tired by the afternoon. Okay, thank you so much. So the relative... Uh -huh. A pronoun wish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the relative clause is what is right after the pronoun, the relative pronoun. Okay, good. I'm tired by the afternoon. Exactly. I'm tired uh, by the afternoon. So next one, have you seen the people whom we met yesterday at the park? Once again, we're using whom to talk about people, but because we're using people as the object, it's receiving the action, okay, whom we met, okay? And then Amir found, or Amir, I'm sorry, found the missing cat that his neighbor had lost. That is our relative pronoun and that his neighbor had lost is the relative clause, okay? Here we have the examples, now we can see it. Those are called relative clauses. Why? Because they are adding more information about the noun. How do we differentiate? How do we distinguish them? How do we identify them? Well, because a relative clause must have a relative pronoun. Which, who, which, whom, that. That would be, uh, you know, in this case. So let's create now sentences. Now, this is now your turn. Look at the picture and help me by creating some sentences. Use relative uh, clauses, guys. What can you tell me? I give you two minutes. Look at the picture. When you have your example, please share it. Open your mic or send it on the chat. Novia, do you have one example? Milton, what comes to your mind? Share it. Podría ser, the children play with them bicycles. Uh, ahí estoy confundida si puedo usar who o that. Um, Hablando well, de ellos. You can use both, but it's people, I recommend using who. If you want to provide more details about the children, use who. If you want to provide more details okay. about the bicycle or, or the scenario, okay. maybe you want to use that. Uh -huh. Okay, the children play with the um, bicycles who, uh, who were going to the park. Hmm. Oh, going to the who, Something yeah. is... Who, who they? 
Uh -huh. So the children and then the, the children ch play play uh -huh. with with them bicycles. Okay. The children play with their bicycles and then uh, who? Now my question is: Do you want to add information about the children? or uh, the bicycles the children okay so children. give me the the, the complement please uh -huh. uh, who uh, go seria went <laughs> and what about if we say the children comma mm -hmm. who blah who? blah blah Comma, play with their bicycle. Just to uh, add more details about the children, so it doesn't okay. sound. Yeah, just put it right after the children, so so it sounds more natural. Okay. Think about okay. it. Then you you say it to me. Let me read some other examples here. The children play in the park with the bicycle. Yes. And what about the relative, the relative uh, pronoun? Let's see, the kids are riding their bikes, which are <laughs> Yeah, I like that one, Bea. I like it. Because you are talking about the bikes, right? Exactly, look at that one, I like it. The kids are riding their bikes, uh, which are fabulous color. The cat in the tree, the cat is in the tree, which is very high. The tree is very high, right? Okay. You can also add more information about the cat if you think about it. Uh -huh. The children, the children, children don't add the S, only children. The children and then going, something is missing, are going to ride them by which are so fun. Breeze, that one is very, very close. Something needs to be double checked and also the, the spelling. <clears throat> Maybe the children are going to ride their bike there because it's not them. So change the, them into there and add R before going to and remove S. Okay. So let me, the time is, is really fast. Let me show you what I have here for you. Let's see, examples. The children comma, who all wear helmets, this is the information extra about the children, comma, were excited about their cycling trip. This is one example. Mm -hmm. So you can see the relative clause just right after the, the pronoun or the noun children, and then we're adding more details about the children. I like the one you share where you add information about the bikes. I like it. What about this other one? My cat. Hey, teacher, what? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Elmen? Elmen? Is what they're using to protect ah, their okay. heads. Yes, yeah, to protect their heads. Okay. My cat, which was black and white, got a sack in a tree. So I'm adding more information about the cat. Okay, as you can see here. I also like the one somebody sent because he was talking about the tree which was high. I like that one too. So is there any other example that you want to share or maybe you want to double check? This is the challenge, right? The challenge is how to add more information about the, the noun. The noun can be the subject or it can be you know, in the middle of the sentence. It doesn't matter. The point is how we can add more information about the noun in a sentence. So that's, that's the point, okay? Is there any other example you want to share? You want to try, Milton? Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay, let me let me uh, give you some other images. Maybe 
a turtle. Maybe you can create a sentence using a turtle or these ones. I want you to try to create sentences, okay? Look. These, these pictures. I don't know, look. Take one more minute because time is almost over, but I want you to think about one sentence. Maybe any of this picture can give you an idea. Look. Choose one and write one sentence. <laughs> Okay, um, I, will, I can see it's almost time, guys. And then um, I want you to think about uh, tomorrow and then for tomorrow's class, get ready with some examples. And the point here is how I can add more details about the noun. How can I combine two sentences into one so I don't repeat the subject or the noun? So that's the point, okay? And then tomorrow you guys want to share with me, okay? As of now, um, I invite you to watch the video on the, on the platform and write down your ideas. I know it's going to be very helpful and we talk about this tomorrow, okay? Okay. Well, okay, th you. thank you so much. I, I, I don't okay, like teacher. to, okay. I don't thank like you. to see very, very, very like, I don't know, maybe as if, as, as if this was confusing or something like that. Tomorrow we keep talking, okay? And have a nice night and take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you, teacher. Right. Good night.